Let's just get this over with. I'm not feeling too great. I've been feeling sore all week. Had a rough weekend with Cody? Well, yes, but how did you know about that? What are you even doing back on the show? I thought you left. Long story. Spent some time with the 500 first. After a few days alone with just the clones for company, you'll start to really miss Anakin. Wait, where is Anakin? Oh, Padme buried him in the ground. I think it was some sort of punishment for something. Well, we should dig him up. It's about time to start the show. Yeah, he should be right here. Anakin, we're coming to get you, okay? Ahsoka. What? How long has Anakin been buried under there? I don't know, like a week or something. A week? Yes. And if you were buried in the ground for a week without food or water, what would happen to you? Uh, I don't know. You'd fucking die, you bloody idiot. Okay, sorry. You don't need to yell. Why wouldn't you think to check on him? Well, I didn't think Padme would commit a murder, now did I? I suppose you have a point. Well, let's grab him from the world between worlds. Hey, Anakin buddy, how are you feeling? I feel like I need a divorce. Oh, don't say that, Anakin. It was just a little misunderstanding. We're going to have a serious talk about this later. You hear me, Padme? She's not here, Anakin. Oh, is she outside? Let me go see this psycho bitch. Oh, for the love of Anakin! Padme, where are you at? She's busy today, Sky Guy. It's just us three. That figures. She's probably not ready to face what she did to me. Buried me in sand. I wouldn't wish such a horrible, torturous time on anybody. Well, Anakin, perhaps we should move on. We need to record our talk show. You're recording? Oh, I see. You only feel the need to come save me when you need me for your own monetary benefit, old man. That's a ridiculous accusation, Anakin. You know I have my bases covered elsewhere. Yeah, so do I. I do babysitting work for Ayla and Bly. They... You know what? I'm gonna ignore that. You know what, Obi-Wan? I think it's about time we have on Commander Cody and question him about all your suspicious behavior. You can't do that. He's... He's busy right now. You sound a little nervous, old man. Stop calling me old! If Cody is busy, maybe we can still get the next best thing. What do you mean, Ahsoka? Well... I don't want to be your friend. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Leave me alone. Listen to me. I'm talking to a damn battle droid. You're just a meanie head. I swear to Lucas Klenka, shut the... Shut that bucket of bolts up. Hey, man. No need to be racist. Oh, it, it's not racist. Then droidphobic? No. Robophobic? No. Droid adverse? Would you knock it off? Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to insult you like that. You seem like a chill droid. I appreciate that. I try to tell my friends that I'm an independent thinker. Is that so? Yeah. The other droids don't like talking to me anymore. What's your name, droid? I'm Roger, I think. My programming tells me to say that a lot. Nice to meet you, Roger. I'm Rex. Rex. Ugh, he'd so nice to finally have a f Rex, you almost got ambushed by that battle droid. Are you okay? Roger. No. How could you, General? Oh, relax. You're safe now. Come on. I need you for something. General, that droid wasn't any danger. That was Echo's droid. He said he reprogrammed it. Oh, that's... oops. Justice for Roger. Self-plug speedrun. Join Zenjo's Patreon or you're bad. Also, he has merch now, so buy it or you're still bad. Back to the video now. You don't care who you piss off, do you, sir? Not in the slightest. What did Anakin do? Nothing, it's fine. How can I help you, generals? Rex, we want you on our talk show. Is something wrong with that? I don't feel like dying a horrific death today. It's not like that anymore, I promise. Every time I commit a murder, Padme punishes me pretty hard. Yes, she ended up committing a felony of her own last time. And I don't know whether to be hurt or proud. Personally, I'm proud. All right, say I'm willing to be here. What am I supposed to do? Just talk with us for a while, anything you want. Go ahead, pick a topic. Uh, all right. How about... I don't know... Fruit? Fucking fruit? Come on, Rex, pick something better. It's okay, pick anything. We're all adults here. Except for Ahsoka. She doesn't count. Why doesn't she count? Because I said so. Technically, I'm a child too. I'm like 10 standard years old. But you look like a fully grown man. A very sexy, fully grown- Ahsoka, stop being horny. No, I've decided to embrace it. 
Ahsoka, at least try not to be horny for the clones. Rex just said he was 10 years old. That's hella sus. You murder children, but I'm sus for wanting a dude in a 20-year-old body? I'm right here. And can I just say for the record, what the fuck? You're right. All the clones had accelerated aging. I guess that means I am even older than Rex. And by our long shots. So that means all the clones are children. What do you make of that, Obi-Wan? I think age is just a number, Anakin. That's what I've been trying to say. Whoa, what the hell? Guys, this is live. Are you trying to get raided by Republic intelligence? They're right, Skywalker. We may be ten, but the Republic has no quarrels about sending us out to war. Okay, sending children to fight to their death for glory is totally fine, but I draw the line at suggesting they have sex lives. That's inhumane. Shut up, Anakin. Yeah, shut up, Anakin. Rex, don't say that to me. It's one thing when Obi-Wan and Ahsoka do it, but I don't like seeing you as a marketable plushie. It scares me. Shut up, Anakin. Nope, I'm out. Anakin, you blistering idiot! Get back here, it was just a joke. He's so weird. You're just figuring that out now, yeah? I knew he was weird for the first mission we ever had together. Pray tell, how did you know? He's different from the other Jedi. He prioritizes our lies over the protocol in a lot of ways. I respect him for it. How is that weird? Sounds like normal Jedi behavior. But he'll also prioritize things like a new pet rock over our lives, so it balances out. Oh yeah, I remember that one. That was the same day I saw Echo doing that thing. Holy shit, you saw that too? Wait, you saw Echo dry humping that B1? Yes, my Lucas. I've been meaning to tell someone about it for ages, but I, I didn't want to upset him. It was so strange. I've never been able to stop thinking about it. Did you know he brought it home? He did not! He did. And he reprogrammed it. I don't want to imagine the things he does to that poor droid. I kinda do. Ahsoka, stop being horny. Yeah, yeah, shut up. And then Anakin came and destroyed it. Destroyed what? My will to live. I know, but what else? Echo's droid. I'm gonna have to answer for that, you know? Tell him I'm sorry, I guess. I'll buy him a proper sex droid later. You know about the dry humping, too? Yeah, it's common knowledge in the 501st. Anakin, Rex, and I have been holding that information secret. Seriously? I told everyone the second I saw it. Well, you didn't tell me. I saw you watch him, Rex. Besides, I figured all the clones got into some nasty sexual fantasies with themselves when we're not looking. General, that's disgusting. What? I totally fuck a clone of me. It's like masturbation. No, it isn't. It is for real. No, it isn't. Well, from a certain point of view... Rex! I'm just kidding, relax. Besides, some of the clones don't need each other to keep company now, do they? Oh, great. Whatever could this be about? Well, obviously, I was making a remark about Cody. Oh, I know where this is going. What about Cody? You don't know what you're talking about. Does Mr. Obi-Wan Kenobi-Wan ring any bells? No. Rex, is this about that undercover thing? Yeah, but I don't think we're authorized to discuss it with General Skywalker. Discuss what with me? We don't need to bring him in the loop. I think we should. What's going on? He's not intelligent enough to comprehend it. It could cause him literal physical brain damage. Oh, please, it's not that serious. I swear to Lucas, stop edging me, guys. What are you looking at me like that for? Nobody is edging you. All right, look, Sky Guy, there's been a secret undercover mission for a while involving Obi-Wan and Cody. I don't want this brought to light, Ahsoka. It's too late. We've gone far enough. What kind of undercover mission? This isn't making any sense. I'm not prone to the details, but I know General Kenobi has been investigating the commander for some time. We believe he's gone rogue. Rogue? Commander Cody? Don't be ridiculous, Rex. He's one of the most loyal soldiers in the Republic Army. Ugh, it's true, Anakin. Cody has been a free agent, and the only way I could get close was if I did the unthinkable. Oh my. What did you do, Master? I let him do laundry at my place. That's it? Yes. Just laundry. You're certain it was just laundry? Uh, yeah. I think the Republic's machines were down, and, uh... They are notorious for breaking down, so... I think he's been telling the truth, Anakin. And so Obi-Wan let Cody enter his home under the guise that he was doing laundry? Yes. And he fucked him in the ass. Well, that's not, uh, what we were trying to say. <laughs> All right, for fuck's sake, everyone knock off this charade, he's not buying it. For the record, I was never buying it. Oh, come on. I thought we were so good at that. Ahsoka would never cover up for Obi-Wan. She loves pranking him just as much as I do. It's true. I do love pranking Obi-Wan. So what did he offer you? Snips? 
An evening alone? A private cruise on the Halcyon Star Cruiser? A lightsaber-shaped dildo? Sounds like a nice time. No, he just said he'd do me a favor with no limits. Also, what the fuck, Rex? What? You think I was just gonna let that comment about the dildo slide? We have more important things to discuss, Ahsoka. Right. What does no limits mean, General? Well, it means nothing now. You failed to convince him deal is off. That's not fair. All you said I had to do was go along with it. You didn't say we had to succeed. You broke character. Deal's off. Well, come on, General. Whatever she wants can't be that bad, can it? She's going to want me to wear those stupid sunglasses again. They look so good on you, though, Master. Tell you what, I'll make you another bet. If Anakin can prevent himself from committing a murder this week, I'll wear them for the next episode. No fair! He does that too much. Not exactly what I want to hear as the guest right now. Don't worry, Rex. You're my favorite person in the world. I wouldn't lay a finger on you. Hold that thought. Fives, what do you want? Uh, sir, we may have a problem. Uh, is the problem that Echo is stuck in the garbage chute again? Uh, maybe. I told you to throw out the trash. How does that equal stuff Echo in the garbage chute? The instructions were unclear. Send help. All right, guys. I have to deal with this nonsense. I'll be back in a bit. But Rex, you'll never make it in time. You'll need our help. Won't he, Ahsoka? Yeah, I know where this is going. Now, hold on. There's no need for this. Ready, set, no. Go! That looked like it hurt. He'll be fine. He always is. Why isn't he moving, though? Oh, he snapped his neck. Skill issue. Sorry, Ahsoka. Anakin killed him. No sunglasses for you. Technically, I was the one who killed him, though. I threw him. With Anakin's help. Please, Master Kenobi. There's something horribly wrong with both of you. We know. Sorry about that. This is exactly why I didn't want to be here. Another excellent episode, guys. We should get some of the clones on more often. I really enjoyed having Rex banter with us. We need to give a huge shout out to our insane tier patrons, Carter L, CDXX, Fudgecake, Lionel Barina, Pluskia, Red Sith Master, Thestral Pony, and Vasu Patel. Patreon supporters are the reason these videos exist, so everyone should give these guys a big thank you in the comments. See you next time!